Cargo planes aren't exactly the magazine beauties of the military's fleet of aircraft, but for the pilots who fly them, they are just as important as any fighter jet when they're retired. News as Jeff Vallon was at Bradley International Airport this morning to catch the final takeoff of the C-23 Sherpa. Next time these propellers come to a stop, it'll be for the last time. Back in 2003, we were the first aircraft to deploy over to deserts, um, over to Iraqi Freedom. A bittersweet day for the Connecticut Army National Guard as it bids farewell to the C-23 Sherpa, the aircraft en route to the Boneyard at Fort Sill in Oklahoma after 23 years of service. We started uh, in Desert Storm and been right through all the way up to the last deployment this was on to uh, the Sinai Peninsula in Egypt. To the guys who flew it, some of the most memorable missions were in home airspace. The feel-good mission, though, was Katrina, and any time on Hurricane Ike a couple years later down in Texas. Uh, so it was good to show up with and help people out with the airplane. Looks don't seem to count for much. It's a Sherpa thing. It's, it's slow, it's loud, and it's ugly, but we love it. When it comes to sentiment, you know, you've been through a lot with it. You know, it's old and gray just like me, so uh, we understand each other at this point. Oftentimes when military aircraft is taken out of service, it's because of something new and better coming along. But just as this plane can't be replaced in the hearts of those who have flown it, there is no immediate successor to take the place of the C-23. Well, let's turn it in and maybe get something in the future. But right now there is no plan for us to receive, you know, another aircraft in its place. Members of the detachment will move on to other assignments and aircraft, even if detaching from the Sherpa isn't quite so easy. Handing those keys in is going to be a tough job. At Bradley International Airport, Jeff Vallon, News 8.